In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily and automatically generate schema code for all kinds of content on your WordPress website. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So why do you want to generate schema code anyway? Well, the easiest answer is to get a coveted rich snippet spot in Google. So if I search in Google for something like cake recipe, we can see that the first thing that shows up prominently in the search results are these three recipes for cake. So this is being pulled predominantly from schema data and the content of your page. But without schema data, the best you can hope for is to appear further down the page below those rich snippet results. Even these three results here have a little bit of rich snippets in them because it's pulling in an image of the cake from those pages. So the best you could hope for without schema data is to appear all the way down here on the page. So the first thing we're going to do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the license key field. Click Connect. And that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got the plugin installed, let me show you how easy it is to create schema data for the content on your website. So I'm going to head on over to the Post section of my WordPress website. And I'm going to scroll down to this post that's called Men's Basketball Shoes. So this is the content of my post, and this is something I would love to see as a rich result in Google. Now, keep in mind, you can't force Google to give you a rich result, but you're almost guaranteed not to get one if you don't include schema data. So I'm going to scroll down past the content of my post to the all-in-one SEO settings section. Within the all-in-one SEO settings section, there's some tabs up top, so I'm going to click on the tab called Schema. And then from the schema section, I'm going to click the blue button that says Generate Schema. Now, as you can see, we have all kinds of schema templates available for you to use. Article, book, course. There's one here for FAQs. There's one for recipes, music. For this one, I'm going to use product because it is a product. So click the plus icon. And then here's where I construct my schema for this particular post. So for the name of the product, it's defaulting to post title. That's great. I'm going to use that because the post title was red and black sneakers or men's basketball sneakers, something very relevant. And for the description, it's saying post excerpt. I'm going to go ahead and use that too. But you can use any of these smart tags here. You can click the link that says view all tags and see what is available to you. You can also get into that view all tags area just by typing in a hashtag or pound symbol here. And they'll show up that way as well. So I'm going to leave it as post title and description. I'm going to leave it as post excerpt. For the brand, I'm going to type in Nike. This is the image that's being used. I like that. But if we didn't like it, we could remove it or we could grab another one from the media library or upload a brand new one. 
For the SKU, I'm just going to type in the numbers 1 through 9. I'm going to leave the GTIN blank, and for the MPN, I'm going to put in the same thing as the SKU. The price is going to be $49.99. For my currency, I'm going to select US dollars, but as you can see, we have a ton of currencies available to choose from. Price valid until you only need that if you're doing a sale or something. This is not a sale. This is the regular price, so I'm going to leave that alone. And for the availability, I am going to select in stock. Under reviews, the first option here is rating value. That's basically the typical star rating of the review. So assuming we're on the one to five scale here, I'm going to give this review a five. For the headline, I'm going to put in great shoes for the, for the content of the review. Very simple stuff for this demo. The author is me. Below, we have the range for the rating one to five. So Make sure if you have this set as one to five that you don't put in a zero or a six or something outside of that range because it would not be valid schema in that case. So after I have this all filled out, I'm going to click the big blue button that says add schema. And then we have a feature here that is really good and gives you great peace of mind. You can click this button that says validate schema. So this is the schema that all in one SEO is generating. This is why this thing is such a game changer because you would have to type this all out yourself or hire a developer to do it. Instead, this is what is being generated by the all-in-one SEO plugin as you fill out those fields, all of this properly formatted schema code. You can copy the schema by clicking the copy button, and then you could bring it into an online schema validator of your choice, or we have a direct link to Google's own schema validator. So I'm gonna click that blue button that says test with Google, and it will open up a new window with Google's schema validator. So here is our code dropped into Google's tool, and I'm going to click the Test Code button. And we can see that our schema is valid. I'm going to close out of that window and close out of this modal. And then I'm going to click the Update button. And that's it. You have just added properly formatted valid schema code to the content of your page. So before we end this video, I just want to show you one more feature, a bit of an advanced feature, but it's very powerful. So I'm going to click the Generate Schema button here. And if for some reason you have a piece of content that doesn't fit into one of these templates, you can create your own custom schema and save it as a template. I'm going to go ahead up top and click the Custom Schema tab. And then let's say I had a website that did song lyrics. So I'm going to create a schema called song lyrics. And I'm going to enter my schema here. I'm just going to paste in the product schema that we had just for the sake of this example, because it does have to be valid schema we put in here. And I am going to save this as a template. And I'm going to X out of this modal. The next time I went in to add schema, I go ahead and click the generate schema button. Here's all the templates we have. But if I click on your templates, we can see my custom schema here, song lyrics, and I could add that to the page directly. So that's how to generate schema code for content on your WordPress website. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video, as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to quickly and easily build internal links using Link Assistant. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.